It's, it's got no, and the, exactly. It has nothing to do with homosexual behavior nor homosexual freedom. It is part and parcel of the Marxist movement in America. I've said this for at least 10 years. And incidentally, Jose, I have a friend who has, is married to a, La a Latino woman, and uh, she observed this over the weekend. She said the older generation of Latinos here in, in her circles are all voting for McCain, and they're all voting yes on Proposition 8 to defend families and marriage. She said the younger generation of Latinos are all voting for Obama, and they're all in favor of homosexual marriage. So this idea that the Latino community is going to be Catholic and it's going to be traditional and it's going to save America has gone up in smoke. Why? Because they've been brainwashed in the Marxist educational system. I think you'd agree with that, wouldn't you? Yes, especially the younger crowd. But, you know, again, I go back to an earlier point. I, I really blame the, the, the stupidity and the lack of connection with people in the Republican Party. They had over 47 percent of the support of the, of the, of the Hispanic. There, there's a difference you have, we have to be aware. There is the illegal immigration Hispanic, and there's the Hispanics that have been here for generations or have come here legally, which are part of the brain drain that has come from Cuba, Venezuela, and Latin America that are tired of centralized government programs. And they come here because they dream in part right, of the Right, the best and the brightest of those Latin countries have come to America to establish a, a life for themselves. Yeah, we know who they are, but their children have become uh, brainwashed here. Well, ex well, that's true. That's through the public education system. But then you have, you have these vast people who are here illegally who are uh, – uh, um, this is no slight on them. This is just a sociological fact of less education – and that are subject to this demagoguery in, in, now from, from Senator Obama, which is the same demagoguery they were subject to from, from in, in Venezuela or anywhere else where they have this. I, kind no, of I absolutely. So here's another question for you. We can go on and on and on, but you're so uh, you're such a savage sage that I'm going to keep throwing questions at you because you know more about the the sequence than I do. I understand the sweep of history and what's going to happen or what's likely to happen or what might happen. But you know the actual mechanics of what's going to happen. Here's the next question. If Obama wins, if Obama wins, will they go after their internal enemies first, meaning within the Democrat Party itself, and try to eliminate the moderates within their, his own party? Or will he go after the conservatives first in the, on the other side of the aisle? They will go within the party. There's going to be a purge inside the Democratic Party, which has already been in place. Exactly. I agree 100 percent. The first people to go are going to be the moderate Democrats who think they were dealing with an FDR rather than a Hugo Chavez. Exactly right. And that has already been in place, in, especially in the academia world, where, where whole careers uh, uh, like mine and others that I can tell you by name and address and phone number have been completely railroaded out of, especially in the humanities and, and, and the, and the uh, social sciences, all right. So although you have a Hispanic uh, uh, accent and name, you were not sufficiently politically to the left to survive the academic jungle because you were of no longer any use to the uh, to the radical Marxists who had taken over the institutions of uh, lower living. Absolutely correct. And I can give you the exact time and date when that. Happened. <laughs> no, listen, I went through it 15 years ago. But look what happened to me. I'm their worst nightmare. So, Jose, there's always hope. When you take the brains out of one institution, the brains don't disappear. That is unless they believe in the final solution, Jose. We're the That's the next question. Do they believe in the final solution, Jose? I'll be right back. Obama and FDR reincarnate or Hugo Chavez or something worse. I think you need to look at progressives for Obama. That's a website of the far left behind him. I think you need to ask yourself, how is it in this country that we permitted a company owned by, um, um, by Venezuela to run Smartmatic voting machines? I mean, am I the only one to bring this up? Are you aware of the fact that Chavez's Venezuela, an outright Marxist nation, owns one of our major e-voting machine companies called Smartmatic. 
Are you aware of the fact that your votes may be processed through Venezuela and some may be nullified and some may be reported? Why is it that Bill Ayers, weather ground, underground terrorist, co-conspirator Mark Rudd, actor Danny Glover, Cuba's Castro are not mentioned by John McCain? Jose, I know we have such limited time. Here's the big question for you. You've studied these people inside and out. Do they want the final solution? Will they try to line up, imprison, and liquidate people in this country? I I don't think so in in this sense. I don't. I think they're uh, they. Well, you never know. I mean, never say never, right? But I don't think that they need to do that. They have been. They have learned a lot from history. They're smarter than that. All I the- absolutely. I agree with you a hundred percent. You don't need to liquidate people if you can nullify people. And they've nullified a goodly percentage of America through the schools and through the media, through the movies. You name it. They've nullified 50 percent of the people by narcotizing them with unlimited sex, drugs and rock and roll. If you can drug people with pornography, if you can drug people with Ritalin, if you can drug people with Prozac, if you can drug people with the lie called change, why do you need to kill them? Well, exactly, and, and the thing that the, what you need to watch is that I, I think what they're try, what he would try to do definitely is to find every possible way, if not if if not by way of controlling the Supreme Court and the legislature, to circumvent the, the Constitution by a way of of uh, uh, ground roots organizations. Chavez, it took ten. Jose, years. we're almost out of time. I could go for you with another hour. We're going to talk again Wednesday. Thank you very much. Savage. This is the Savage Nation.